everyone today we're going to be doing a look using an old favorite of mine the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is this one here I've been thinking about using this palette for a while now um, like I'm talking weeks not sure what kind of look we're going to be doing but going in with a, a crease brush I'm actually going to be going in with a, a pencil brush but it's a very flexible tip see that it's quite flexible by Lily and Lolo so the first shade that we're dipping into is love which is this pink here now you'll know all the Anastasia palettes have a lot of fallout and no this hasn't gotten any better over time it's still a lot of fallout so just going in with love and tapping off and going into the crease lids are already primed using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I love this brush because it's so soft and it picks up most eyeshadows really really well so that's the first shade there just going to do the other eye this eye tends to droop a little bit more in terms of the hoarded eyelid I thought I'd skip a step and do the foundation prior um, I don't actually have any concealer on just a layer of foundation and I have done my eyebrows now to buff up the edges I'm getting a blending brush and I'm dipping in with the shade called wild child the shimmery shade and just buffing around the edges of love and don't be afraid to take this all the way up to the brow bone which is my intention now that's that's what I'm working with at the moment and now going in with a tapered brush which is actually angled by Real Techniques I'm dipping in with Drama which is this deep shade on the very end there Drama putting that in the outer corner of the eye Okay, with the blending brush, no remaining eyeshadow, just run over the edge of drama to smooth out that, to smooth out that uh, edge. Just going to clean this up, but I'm just going to blend out the edges there. I know it looks crazy. But we are going to clean that up so and i will show you how we're going to clean that up with a bit of concealer now i know that looks absolutely nuts but now we're going to go in and with a inglot 9s brush two shades i'm going to be dipping into summer and dreamer together these two combinations here one's a pale champagne one's a bronze You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to wet the eyeshadow with the Revolution Infinite. Which one's this one? Conceal and Define. That's actually better. Going back with the Real Techniques brush, back into Drama, because we've sort of gotten rid of that a little bit of dark, little bit of definition there, it has gone, so I'm just going to bring it back. I 
and then back in with the Inglot brush just to smooth out those edges there. It's time to clean up now because I know it looks absolutely crazy and going in to clean up that fallout. Now if you don't like this harsh edge going with a smaller brush and buff out the edges this has got no shadow on it so just blend out the edges of that harsh line there soften it up and I'm just using circular motions I'm going to do concealer and after the concealer is done we're going to do the lower lash line so I'm just using a mini buffing brush the NYX Concealer Serum, bear with me. Just let it sit for a little bit, about 30 seconds. Okay, it's had enough time to sit. Just going in with my Mecca Max buffing, mini buffing brush and buffing the concealer in. And I love this concealer because you just don't even need to set it with powder. It just sets itself really nicely. Okay. So now that we have the concealer all laid down, it's time to go in for some bronzer. I'm not going to do any contouring, just bronzing. And I'm using my Mr. Right bronzing brush. And I'm using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. Going in with that and dabbing that in to warm the face. Be on the nose. Be on the forehead. And I'm not putting on any blush because I don't want it to compete with the eyes. I want the eyes just pretty much to stand out. It's time for lips. Just going in with lip liner. The NYX Sand Beige. And the final step after lips is because we just totally forgot mascara. This is the completed look with the eyes. So guys, that completes the tutorial with the Norvina palette. I really love this palette so much so much fallout but worth it these shades absolutely beautiful so many looks that you can do with it I encourage you all to pull out your palettes and use them the ABH palettes are absolutely gorgeous I do have some other palettes that I'm thinking of filming with the prism palette I've already done a sultry um, in the afternoon palette with the sultry palette by Anastasia uh, do I have another Anastasia palette maybe can't think of it right now but guys I really hope you enjoyed this little get together with me in terms of using the Norvina palette I hope that I have inspired you to pull out your Norvina palette and play around with it I really do hope that you have a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you all again next time. Thank you so much and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.